We continue talking Cleveland State men's basketball with head coach Dennis Gates. Uh, coach, uh, again, appreciate you, your time, and let's look forward. So, so now you are the top seed in the Horizon League tournament. You get a bye through the first round, but that means you don't play for about 10, 9, 10, 11 days. What do you do to keep the guys fresh? Is that a concern? How do you deal with a, an entire week off? Well, you have to reset yourself, reset yourself mentally, physically, and emotionally. I think the first and foremost is healing our bodies. Uh, Max Benton, uh, our trainer, Tim Bilbrey, our strength and conditioning coach, we definitely want to put these guys in a situation where their body heals uh, and we get through the, the the nuances of a season, the wear and tear, and rejuvenate their bodies. We have some uh, injuries going on that we have to continue to heal through. Uh, but most importantly, mentally, we got to make sure we, we continue to stay locked in uh, and emotionally not allow the moment uh, to, to allow us to forget the importance of what we are about to embark on. Um, you know, it's postseason play. And then postseason play, you, you win or you lose. And going home is on the other side of an exciting uh, game. But we have to do our part in putting, putting our team in position uh, where we can continue to uh, control our own destiny. When you look at having that time off, do you try to make the practices a little more like game type situations? How, how do you deal with, uh, with not playing a game when you know that the team you're going to face, you know, has played over the weekend? You know, they didn't play over the weekend, but they played Thursday, if you will. Well, I, I think we've what we've been able to do this season is concentrate on Cleveland State University men's basketball. And we are our, our first and number one opponent each and every game. And secondly, we prepare for that opponent that's coming in or that whom we have to travel to. The, the interesting dynamic in all of that is preparing mentally and physically and emotionally to endure what we had to embark on. And that was two straight games back to back playing the same team. Well, now we have to re rewire our, our mental approach and understand that the team we face are gonna give their very, very best without any doubt or any doubt of the imagination simply because it's one game or go home for them as well. Our conference top to bottom is loaded with talent, loaded with great players and go great coaches. And I just truly believe once these games take place Thursday, um, we have to re reorganize and see who it is that we play. So these first couple days was, was meant for our body, our, our minds, our, our mental and our emotions to heal and get past. Uh, and, and also, you know, enjoy what we've accomplished. That, that's an important feat that is a part of our overall plan. Phase one is over, phase two is conference tournament, phase three is trying to win the NCAA national championship. And what we've had our eyes on from day one is the NCAA championship. And that game is on April 5th, on Monday, April 5th. And hopefully uh, we do the things, the necessary things to get to that moment. What's the message to the team as you get ready for that first tournament game? What do you, what do you tell them? I'm sure it's going to be repeated several times before then. Yeah, uh, I, I tell you what, giving your very best has been, been what we've focused on. But we've also focused on our eight core values of friendship, love, accountability, trust, discipline, unselfishness, enthusiasm, and toughness. And there's not anything that we don't do without that either in our pockets, on our chest, or in our hearts and in our spirits. We have to continue to filter all our actions through those eight core values because I truly believe that's what's going to lead us into having a successful completion of the next phase and then the phase after that. But you can only uh, concentrate on where you are and where we are right now is in that first minute of possibly 120 total conference tournament minutes. So that's the most important minute, but minute 41 isn't guaranteed unless you take care of minute one through 40. So our focus is, is directly tied to that. And I wanted to make sure that our guys understand that the teams that we've played this year have evolved. They've gotten better. And nor are they the same teams that they were on that calendar day. And we are not the same team as well. So as the season goes, each program evolves and they go through the learning lessons that a game has taught them. I'm just happy that our conference, our commissioner, our leadership 
has gotten us through 20 games because we're a completely different program than we were in game one. And now that we have been through 20 games and, and the 21st game is coming up. When Cleveland State is playing the type of basketball you want them to, what are we seeing on the court from the Vikings? Uh, I, I, th- I think you're seeing those eight core values, to be honest with you, and those guys being as connected as they can be in that moment. Uh, you're seeing unselfish spirit. You're seeing a, 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 a hunger and, and, and a quest and a focus that, uh, you know, can bring hopefully more and more victories. But you're seeing a group of guys that love each other. You, you're seeing a group of guys that have withstood the test of time. And I'll speak about it because it's the elephant in the room. You know, our non-conference schedule, we played Toledo, we played Ohio and Ohio State. And the game against Ohio, you know, obviously, you know, social media, the news and everyone else, um, you know, it, it was shown in a, in, a, in, a, in a different way that we weren't proud of. But I think that moment taught us a lesson uh, that, you know, collectively we can do something special. And I, I truly believe you go through things, you go through, through, through different obstacles just so you can continue to, to grow. And that was a moment, our non-conference schedule was a moment where, where we saw growth, but also each game in our conference as we've gone through 20 has allowed us to continue to grow and see the best version of ourselves. I still believe the best basketball is ahead of, is ahead of us. How excited are you and how excited is your team? You know, it's, it's tournament basketball, you count to three and then it's, uh, you know, an NCAA tournament. You get three more wins. You're three wins away from being in the tournament you want to be in. Yeah. I, I don't think we look at it that way. We, we want to take care of the moment. And the moment is one game at a time. And that's how we've been able to move forward in the, the phase one of our, our season. Phase two, yes, we know what is on the line. We understand that. But we also know the other side of, of, of our goals. And our goals is to win a national championship. Uh, uh, NCAA tournament championship and when you do those things and, and you and you dream big and you work as hard and your vision is aligned in that capacity there are things that you earn along the way so the pressure on our guys is to win a national championship what you get along the way is something that we've gone through phase one in our regular season and hopefully we can continue uh, to, to go forward and move in the right direction in phase two of our uh, conference tournament season.